Numbers chapter 33. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to the journeys by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Remeses, Remeses in the first month on the 15th day of the first month on the morrow. After the Passover, the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them upon their gods. Also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Remeses and pitched in Sukkoth. And they departed from Sukkoth and pitched in Etham which is the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham and turned again unto Pihahiroth, which is before Baal Zephon. And they pitched before Migdol. And they departed from before Pihahiroth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness and went three days journey into the wilderness of Etham and pitched in Merah. And they removed from Merah and came unto Elim. And in Elim were twelve fountains of water and threescore and ten palm trees, and they pitched there. And they removed from Elim and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin and encamped in Dolfka. And they departed from Dolfka and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush and encamped in Rephidim, where it was of water of the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai and pitched at Kibroth Hatava. And they departed from Kibroth Hatava and encamped at Hezeroth. Hezeroth. And they departed from Hazeroth and pitched in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma and pitched in Rimon Parez. And they departed from Rimon Parez and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna and pitched in Risa. And they journeyed from Risa and pitched in Kehelahath, Kehelathah. And they went from Kehelathah and pitched in Mount Shafer. And they removed from Mount Shafer and encamped in Harada. And they removed, removed from Harada and pitched in Machheloth. And they removed from Machheloth and encamped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and pitched in Tarah. And they removed from Tarah and pitched in Mithka. And they went from Mithka and pitched in Hashmona. And they departed from Hashmona and encamped at Moseroth. And they departed from Moseroth and pitched in Bene Jakan. And they removed from Bene Jakan and encamped at Hor Hagigdad. And they went from Hor Hagigdad, Hagig. Hagid Gad, and pitched in Jot Batha, and they removed from Jot Batha and encamped at Ebrona. Pardon my Hebrew. And they departed from Ebrona and encamped at Ezion Gaber. And they removed from Ezion Gaber and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is in Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh and pitched in Mount Hor in the edge of land of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into the Mount Hor in the commandment of the Lord and died there in the fourteenth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was a hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south of the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched in Zalmona. And they departed from Zalmona and pitched in Punon. And they departed from Punon and pitched in Oboth. And they departed from Oboth and pitched in Ije Abarim in the border of Moab. And they departed from Eim and pitched in Dibon Gad. And they removed from Dibon Gad and encamped in Almon Diblathaim. And they removed from Almon Diblathaim and pitched in the mountains of Abiram before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abiram and pitched in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan from Beth Jesimoth even unto Abel Shittim in the plains of Moab. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land before, from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. 
and ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families, and to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer fewer ye shall the fewer <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that, uh, Hitler, the fewer in German, <laughs> and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot faileth. According to the tribes of the fathers, ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass: those that which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. 